This video is about how potato chips rot your joints and cause chronic pain. So this is what a normal healthy joint looks like. Now this is the cartilage it's called. You can see joint cartilage. Below it is bone, above it is fluid, mostly water, and above that will be another healthy normal piece of joint cartilage and together this makes up the joint. So this would be a healthy deflamed joint. Let me show you what a osteoarthritic rotting joint looks like. You can see the changes. Now, this is not caused by injury. This is caused by chronic inflammation. This is very, very, very well known. This image is in this book that I wrote back in the early part of January of uh, 20, 2020, I guess, early 2020, I think it was. I lose track of time because of this weird last year of COVID. So what you can see here is the problem for your joints and muscles and bones and the rest of your body, basically, are calories that come from sugar, refined sugar, refined flour, and refined oils. Complete and absolute total nightmare. So when you think about those calories, you should also realize that these calories cause most diseases. So when you look here, you can see how to conceptualize that, what you see uh, are those calories that get into our joints and lead to the degenerative changes that occur that are, that's called osteoarthritis. Now, depending upon who you are, you may get, have perfect blood vessels and, and be riddled with arthritic pain. And that's because one cannot predict in advance if depending upon what we, oh, well, when we overeat these calories, we cannot predict in advance the diseases that we will get. We just don't know. And so the best way to look at this is that these calories cause all chronic diseases, which means we should look at arthritis as view it as being heart disease of our joints. Now, if you've never heard this before, you shouldn't be surprised. Very few people have heard it. Only 654. So not a lot. So I'll show you what that looks like in a couple of seconds. So this is a paper that explains that trauma causes only 12%. So 10% basically of all chronic joint pain, which is called arthritis, osteoarthritis, only 10 of it is, is due to trauma. Now the problem is you can have an injury, but you should then over time heal. And if your pain gets worse, the reason why it gets worse is because the flame is on. Well, how do you know this? It's well known. Inflammation occurring immediately after joint injury plays a key role in the onset of chronic post-traumatic arthritis. Okay, so we know that osteoarthritis is largely lifestyle, and we're going to look at it from the perspective of potato chips now. Well, you wouldn't know it from this title, right? Lipids found in articular cartilage, which is joint cartilage as we age. So... Have you ever heard of arachidonic acid? If you've been to any healthcare, through any, through any healthcare education, or probably a basic biology uh, program now, certainly nutrition program, dietitian, you should know that arachidonic acid comes from our food and becomes PGE2. PGE2 is the pain and inflammation prostaglandin. So what's the big deal with our joints as we age? concentrations of the precursor of PGE2, right, arachidonic acid, its concentrations increases markedly with age in cartilage, superficially less than deep. Big deal, doesn't make any difference. The point is, arachidonic acid shouldn't be there. It should not be there. And it increases as we age. Well, where do we get it from? Well, from the crap we eat. So lots of these starchy, floury calories, they're not high in fat, but they often have margarine in them and corn oil, and that contains a, a, a linoleic acid that becomes arachidonic acid. And arachidonic acid gets in our joints. Let's do it right here. There you go. Arachidonic acid gets in our joints. Where does it come from? French fry oils, any of the omega-6 oils in these calories, the flour calories, and of course, whenever it's used directly. Osteoarthritis is promoted by years of eating pro-inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, 
that concentrate in our joints and eventually cause chronic pain. So I first learned about this in a paper that was published a long time ago. You just saw which paper that was, right? It was published in 1975. So I didn't know this in 1975. I learned about this probably when I was 30, so that would have been I was 30 in, what year was I 30 in? 1990, 1995-ish, 30, 35, I learned about this. So when I was 15 years of age, we knew that arachidonic acid concentrates in joints, gets converted into PG2, and you get osteoarthritic aches and pains. Okay, not that complicated. So this is 1991. Look, we, look what we were told then. Normal young cartilages have high levels of this fatty acid called meat acid and low levels of omega-6s. So remember, before, you learned before, as we age, as we age, the concentrations of omega-6 arachidonic acid increases. So we know for a fact that you're supposed to have omega-9s in your joints. This is what you're born with. We overeat omega-6s and we trash our joints. So no matter what species studied so far, chicken, calf, pigs, rabbits, humans, all have low omega-6s in joints. All have low omega-6s in joints. Unbelievable. Not only that, this is published in the year 2000, not only that, the cells that, that, make, that create the cartilage to make your joints healthy they decline, the archondrocytes decline, and the houses that they live in in your joint cartilage become empty and actually fill with fat. And the omega-6 fatty acid, PGE2, sensitizes, which means hyperactivates chondrocytes to the cell death signaling effect of this free radical called inducible well, nitric oxide is what it is. So this is horrific. The cells that create the, art, the cartilage are killed when you flame yourself up with excess sugar, flour, refined oil, calories, and goodbye joints. It is absolutely horrific. So this is what a rotting joint cartilage area looks like. You can see again it's from this book here. So I'm only talking in this video about omega-6 fatty acids. So when you see fat, you think omega-6. So whenever you see here, you're thinking fat, omega-6, you're thinking french fries and potato chips. So you can see I just have the cover from this book there just because it's easy to fit in there. Throw in potato chips or french fries and potato chips. What are they? Well, they're fried potato. Same thing. Most of the calories that you get in french fries and potato chips are the omega-6 oils. And they lead to degradation of the joint because of inducing inflammatory activity and they actually become deposited in the joint directly. So all these other things you see here written in black are other pro-inflammatory factors that I'm not going to talk about in this video. So to find out more about that, you want to check out the book. So let's look at the fatty acid issue. So this is an anti-inflammatory uh, set of foods in terms of omega-6 and omega-3s. You want to be below 4 to 1. Look at all these foods, below 4 to 1. There they are. Read them yourself. Now notice, chicken breast, little asterisk. So your typical grain-fed feedlot chicken is, is rich in omega-6s, but the breast itself, the white meat, is very low in fat, so it's irrelevant. So these are all the foods that we should be focusing on. Look at the disaster foods. Now, here we see nuts. Their ratios are 5 to 1 or higher. We want to be below 4 to 1. If you want the best, if you want to have a magnificent uh, nut that has zero problems with the omega-6s, it would be MAC, macadamia nuts. Not mac and cheese, not McDonald's, macadamia to spell macadamia, I think it's spelled like this, right? Macadamia nuts. That doesn't look right, but I think it's pretty close. So macadamia nuts have added. They have no omega-6s literally at all. So all your grains have a horrific ratio. 
They're low in fat, but the ratio sucks. Here's your more fatty foods. Now remember, your, your chicken, uh, your white chicken meat is very, very low in fat. So even though the ratio sucks, it's only a gram per serving, basically. So not a big deal. Potato chips and corn chips. Here you go. Horrific. Look at this. Potato chips, 60 to 1 or worse. Here are your seed oils, except for soybean, which still sucks. You want to be below 4 to 1. The rest of them are between 60 to over 70 to 1. Omega-6 to omega-3, omega-3 anti-inflammatory. That is why these calories, over time, trash your joints. Because, you can see right here, all these pro-inflammatory fatty acids, they fill up your joints and they lead to a degradation state and a lack of healing. So what you see here, MMPs, just a quick intro, these are enzymes that digest cartilage that get turned on by inflammatory stimuli. What a nightmare, all described in this book that I published in about January 2020. And you can see it, all my books online here at Amazon. So single copies there, all are Kindle versions as well as paperback, and then the immune book is only paperback. And these can all be purchased in volume discounts if you have an interest. And here are all the social media things that you can follow me slash deflame at.